some people have told me and you guys have two kids each so like they're so different from each other it's hard to believe that the same genetics made them because like the little the older one is against all of my better attempts to like not influence her only with girl stuff pink princess whatever all she wants to do is be dressed up doing ballet i mean her dream her aspirations for her life right now are to open up a ballet school and teach ballet i'm like but how did you end up teaching ballet? Did you like, were you a ballerina and you did drugs? What happened? She goes, no, I just want to be a teacher. <laughs> I was like, all right. The little one is like the opposite because she's not as sensitive. She doesn't seem to give a, she's like a cat. One's a dog, one's a cat. When there's food, she loves me. She kisses me. Da, 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 da. When there's no food, she's doing her own thing. All I need to worry about is that she doesn't die. The other one needed attention <laughs> constantly. This one needs protection. Uh, and she beats up the older one. It's it's pretty it's pretty sad to watch because she's almost as big as her already. <laughs> what an in, what an interesting dynamic. It's a very interesting dynamic. Yeah, like she punched her in the mouth today while they were bathing. <laughs> she, I mean, she literally wound up and she just punched her in the face and she's like, she hit me. I'm like, fuck, I know. <laughs> I saw it. And you can't yell at a 13 month old. They don't care. They don't know what's going on. They're like, this is a hand. <laughs> what does it do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, they're, they're, it's it's like having one was challenging. Having two, I guess I expected it to be twice as hard. It's like a thousand times harder. I assume having three would be like having a colonoscopy all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I can't you, even imagine. You, yeah, you definitely don't go to four. I mean, I'm not going to three. So if I go to four. <laughs> We've said this many times on this podcast. All the people, I've never all, watched any episodes. All, all our friends, or at least all my friends that have more than three kids. No, I'll, I'll say four to five kids. Borderline suicidal. You know people who have almost five kids? Well, oh, I mean, four or five. five four to five. Yeah, four, <laughs> five, six. I even I, I know somebody that has six. That's too many kids, man. Yeah, that's, that's you're just lost. No, you're you, 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 there's, there's so many kids, you lose the meaning of, of, of life. I thought and, after and purpose. three, the vagina just falls off. <laughs> that was my understanding of it. <laughs> it comes off with the kid. Well, we made the genius uh, when, because my wife had a, I mean, I don't know, you guys have like a dad podcast, so maybe it's relevant. I guess it's relevant. When my wife gave birth to my first, uh, we had a very, like, very bad delivery. Like it was, it was touch and go for a while and it all got very scary, very fast. Sorry, and because sorry, I'm sorry, because and I, you know, I, I, I sympathize with everything because, you know, but the, 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 that, that, that first time that, that excitement that you feel as a first time father for Phil, it took so long that he filmed the documentary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, really? After the third day, I was so worried. I couldn't, oh, I, man. I, I didn't know because you can't really do anything. Right. There's, there's no way you can help. Uh, between like my mom barging into the room and asking questions in circles that made no sense and my my mother-in-law trying to exercise demons from my wife by putting icons all over her oh my uh, to help the doctors like this is, <laughs> this is the chaos that was going on and my wife was completely immune to all of the pain drugs like they were going through her system in under a minute like she'd be oh the pain is gone and then screaming at the top of her lungs so like there's nothing you can do you're just like good job like good job so she's in one of her lucid moments she's like start filming things to keep yourself busy and to let people know like post for our families because people keep calling and it's getting annoying and that's how that happened you know that moment when you see your first kid everyone's like you know right then and there i I didn't have that it took me like six days to bond with her i was like (laughs) because i expected to have some kind of overwhelming emotional experience and i didn't and i told my dad he's like what did you expect i was like what did you feel when i held when you held me the first time he's like i don't remember it was a long time ago i'm like good job good job yeah. he's like i don't know i was like i don't know i wasn't in the room i wasn't there but they, they didn't let us he in was back. actually he was he was yeah no he's like i don't know you were cute i was like thanks dad uh but like i didn't have some kind of overwhelming thing and she was very small and like she wasn't um like she was under underweight when she was born. So they're like, we got to take her to like the NICU and do a bunch of shit. And then they stabbed her with uh, like a needle in the foot to do uh, like oh, a blood, blood sugar yeah. test. Yeah. And I, I, I like, I don't even know this human being. And I just, I'm just sitting there crying. Right. I was like, are you all right? I'm like, I don't know what's happening right now. I'm like, why are you stabbing this poor child? And it took me a few days to really have that experience. The other one though, who was, I mean, the delivery was like 15. It was like getting a hamburger. It was in and out. 
um it was all scheduled you know seconds we, we we had it down packed this time i made a sequel to the movie it's like 18 seconds long it's like we did it bye um her though when she was born she was in distress and like i, I didn't tell my wife till like I, I think two months ago like she wasn't breathing for a little bit Who's like when this? she was billy the, the oh yeah one. yeah like she had she turned right as they were about to uh, extract her. I don't know what the term is. Yeah. Like take her out. And she swallowed a bunch of like uh, amniotic fluid. Yeah. So like when they took her out, she was like starting to turn blue and she wasn't crying. Yeah. And my wife's like laying there cut open like a, like a halal butcher shop. Uh, arms prostrate out to the side, you know, drugged up. She's like, how's the baby? I was like, <laughs> she, she, looks, she looks good. <laughs> like trying to keep my shit together. Her I bonded with instantly because I, I was terrified. I thought she was going to die. Yeah. Like it was a, they asked me her name and I couldn't say her name. I was so choked up. And all the nurses were like, oh my God, daddy left the baby. I was like, what the hell did you want me to do? I thought the kid was going to die. <laughs> like it's, it was like, it was a psychological roller coaster for me. You know, you know, so I like you know, with, uh, with us. Uh, and I remember, and it's funny, man, that we're mentioning this because we're talking about this with my wife just the other day. You know, we, you know, the, that whole magical moment and everything for us, it was a C section because she wasn't turning around. So, us it was like a like a scheduled trip man we we yeah. knew eight o'clock we're going and we had the taxi the ride everything was perfectly timed we had the baby uh, like on schedule and then we stayed in the hospital for three days and then after uh it's like you're so not used to the fact that there's another person now that you need to take care yeah. of i remember at the hospital I turn, around, I turn around to my wife and i'm like you know how i feel i feel like we've been babysitting a kid for three days and we're just expecting that kid's parents okay come and get your child now i want to go home yeah <laughs> i remember i remember like uh, after the oldest like on this it was like six days later or something uh, i forget exactly how many days but at some point i walk up to my wife she was sleeping i go yo that kid's not leaving like she lives here now she's like yeah i was like holy shit like she's never gonna leave. She's like, "Why well, you want her to leave?" I'm like, oh, "I don't want her to leave, but she's here. We're still, like, we got to take care of her now." Because we stayed at the hospital for so long because of everything that happened. It took four days to deliver, like a whole day of active labor. Like I thought my wife's head was gonna explode, honestly. And then we they kept us because she was underweight and with all the distress and everything that happened for another, I think, f uh, four or five days, right? What? So, so when we were like a week in the hospital. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was bad. Like my dad like, was bringing me food, clothes. Like uh, we stayed way too long. And uh, I remember I didn't even leave the hospital grounds for like the first five days. Like I was always in the hospital. I remember going out and like, <laughs> um, <laughs> light. Yeah, basically. So uh, it, we were with. We always had a nurse. Like I remember that first night, she started crying. I didn't like my instinct wasn't go pick up the baby. My instinct was. Nurse, the baby is crying. What do I do? Because I had no idea. I had no yeah, fucking idea. Yeah, they don't tell you anything. They don't tell you shit. And the, the nurses were being cunty with my wife about breastfeeding. Uh, um, like, she was trying, but it wasn't working. So, like, just give her the formula. And it was, like, this back and forth. Like, I don't know. Give her the breast. And fighting. And a lot of tears from the nurses. My wife can be. She's, she's, she can be mean. Um, and we had this <laughs> well, the crazy. The nurses were crying. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> we had this I Iranian nurse. I don't remember her name, but she was there for most of the time, like at night. And she would always come and she goes, I teach you how to do it. Come here, baby. Come here, Leah. And she would do this like sing song Farsi accent. Baby was out in two seconds. So when we first brought her home, I used to go, okay, baby. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was something about, the, like, I had no idea. Honestly, uh, having it kids for you. Has been the ultimate, no, it didn't work at all. <laughs> the only thing that ever worked with the oldest was holding her to let her fall asleep. She, uh, yeah, no, the little, the, the baby though, I just put her down and I say, Hey, I'll see you later. And she's like, ah, and she just goes down. <laughs> the, my second child is the universe balancing itself out. That's what it is. It's, it's, it's whatever higher power exists going, listen, my bad about the, we overdid it. Take this one now. This one's going to be easy.